So back in the day when the Danes were raiding Ireland all up and down both coasts, there was one particular party that was raiding along the west coast, especially in County Leitrim. Now they'd finished their long season of raiding and they were gathering up all of the stolen treasure and wealth to take it on home. And when they gathered it all up and sectioned it all up, they discovered that they'd been a little bit too successful. There wasn't enough room in the ship for all of the men and all of the treasure. And so they took some of the gold and some of the silver and some of the jewels and they piled them into this one chest and they threw that chest into the bottom of Loch Finn. Now they intended to come back for the chest, obviously, and they did come back, but they had overlooked one very minor detail. You see, there was a paste living in Loch Finn. A huge, monstrous paste, almost as long as the lake itself, with a huge horse's head on it, with a horse's mane running all down its back. And so when they returned to fetch that one chest of treasure, well, they found it. They also found the paste. And they didn't make it back home after that. Now that chest remained there and remains there still to this day. But one day, many, many years later, two fellas from the town of Ballyheady, they each had the same dream. In this dream, a voice told them that there was a way of getting that chest full of Viking treasure. And that the way to do it was to take four black stallions, each one with not a hair of white about them, and some stout chains, and then haul it up from the bed of the lake. But the next morning, the two men, they met in a pub in Ballyheady, and they were amazed when they each recounted the exact same dream to one another. So the two of them, they went out searching all over Ireland, looking everywhere they could at every horse fair, every farm, to find four jet black stallions with not a single hair of white. And they only could find three. And despite the fact that the dream had very clearly specified four stallions, that there was not to be a mare among them. They decided they'd chance their arm with a black mare to round out the number. And so they took their four black horses. They went down to Loch Finn. They took some stout chains, hitched them up to the chest at the bottom of the lake, hitched them up to the reins of the horses, and they drove the horses on, forcing them forward. And as the horses heaved and trotted along, the chains went taut and the chest started to creep, creep, creep out of the muddy bed of the lake. But there was a very good reason why the dream had specified that they needed four black stallions. And to tell the truth, it probably should have said four black heterosexual stallions. Now, the three stallions they had, they were indeed heterosexual. And they all began taking a very particular interest in the black mare. And they began to fight each other and kick and bite each other over which one would get to mount her. And the mare herself, well, she was having none of this. She was not happy at all. And so she snapped her reins and she ran. And the, four black, or the three black stallions, they kept fighting each other. And amidst all that noise and the commotion, what should happen? But the noise woke the paste that lives in Loch Finn. And the creature rose up, thrashing and flailing. And as it thrashed and it flailed, it became entangled in the chains between the horses and the chest. The three black stallions, they were dragged into the water. The chains, they ended up breaking and snapping. And well, the two men, they ran. They ran for their lives, not wanting to be eaten by this horrible, whistling, shrieking paste. 
And on their way home, as they trudged along the road, who should pass them on the road but a farmer in a cart? A cart being pulled along by a single black stallion. If they had waited just one more day, they could have had their treasure. And that treasure is still there at the bottom of Loch Finn today. You can see it when the lake is clear and the sun is bright.